you need to have a signature scent. But one fragrance is not enough to meet all needs in all circumstances. If you're considering a new one, today's video is not one you wanna miss. Welcome back to the Gray Fox Mandem, and I'm Carl. Today I'm going to unbox and review Antonio Centeno's fragrance line, Honor, Courage, and Commitment. Now you know, you know Antonio, right? He's, he's, he's this guy. Antonio's been doing this a long time. His channel, Real Men Real Style, has over three and a half million subscribers. He's dedicated his life to helping men look and feel their best. But before he was a YouTuber, he was an active duty Marine. That fact is relevant to our video today. And may I say, I appreciate the fact that he and I share that military history. I was in the Navy, but I love my Marines. They kept me alive in Fallujah. As mentioned before, his fragrance line is called Honor, Courage, and Commitment. These are both the United States Marine Corps and the United States Navy's core values. So clearly these terms, the, the ideals or the values of honor, courage, and commitment, they mean a great deal to me personally. And I appreciate that Antonio has drawn from those important values to name his line. Now, so full disclosure, Antonio sent these to me as a gift. Okay, I didn't pay uh, anything for these out of pocket. He didn't do so with the expectation that I would post a video. And in fact, I asked his permission to do so. Uh, so I'm gonna do my best to not have that sway my opinion and have this be as non-biased as I can. Okay, let's dig into this. So I just opened this up out of the box and the packaging of the Honor, Courage and Commitment line uh, is uh, pretty nice, it's sleek, sophisticated. The bottles have a, a pretty modern design with a matte finish on them. And the brand logo is etched onto the bottle and the cap. It's very minimalistic and yet it's uh, engaging. It immediately grabs your attention. I would say it even gives off an air of elegance. Now at this point, I want to emphasize the importance of proper fragrance storage, okay? And the role that it plays in maintaining the longevity of these scents. Fragrances are delicate creations, right? They can be affected by you know, light, heat, air exposure, that kind of thing. That's why the packaging of Antonio Centeno's Honor, Courage and Commitment fragrance line, you know, I, I feel it deserves recognition. So the matte black bottles not only exude uh, elegance, but also serve a functional purpose. And the opaque bottle, this design helps protect the fragrances from harmful UV rays, preserving their integrity over time. Additionally, that secure cap that I showed you, you hear that? That's important. These secure caps, always make sure that your fragrances have those. The secure caps, they ensure minimal air exposure. It's so important. That prevents oxidation and it maintains the, uh, the sense freshness by providing an environment conducive to fragrance preservation. Okay, so these, uh, these are very thoughtfully designed. I like it. Uh, these containers help extend the lifespan of the Honor, Courage and Commitment line. And they ensure that each spray delivers even after months or even years of owning them. Remember, taking care of your fragrances and storing them properly is essential for enjoying their efficacy for a long time to come. Okay, now before we move on, you need to know the difference between Eau de Parfum, EDP, and Eau de Toilette, EDT, as it's a common question among fragrance enthusiasts. Now both EDP and EDT are popular concentrations of fragrances, but they do have some variations in terms of their composition and their intensity. Eau de Parfum typically contains a higher concentration of fragrance oils, and those usually range from like uh, 15 to 20% as a higher concentration. And this higher concentration results in a, a more potent and long lasting scent. EDP fragrances tend to have a richer and more complex profile with a deeper development of notes over time due to their higher concentration. EDPs usually offer greater longevity, lasting for several hours and sometimes even throughout the day. Now on the other hand, Eau de Toilette, EDT, 
has a lower concentration of fragrance oils, typically around five up to 15%. Some say this lighter concentration makes EDT is more suitable for everyday wear and like warmer climates. They often have a lighter projection and a shorter lifespan compared to EDPs. So, you know, if you're seeking a fragrance that can easily be refreshed or layered throughout the day, okay, EDTs may be what you're looking for. When deciding between EDP and EDT, it's essential to consider factors such as like your personal preference, the occasion and the climate that you're living in. EDPs are ideal for special occasions or when you want a fragrance to last for an extended period. EDTs, on the other hand, can be great for, say, casual wear or when you desire a lighter or sometimes more refreshing scent. Ultimately, when you opt for either Eau de Parfum or Eau de Toilette, Antonio Centeno's Honor, Courage, Commitment fragrances are available in both concentrations allowing you to choose the one that best suits your preferences and needs. Personally, I invest exclusively in Eau de Parfum. If I'm going to wear a scent, I want it to last as long as possible. And in my personal experience, Eau de Parfum across the board offers a more complex profile that just seems richer overall. You know, but that's just my taste. But I have to say, the ones that Antonio sent me are Eau de Parfum. So, uh, thanks, Antonio, I appreciate that. Okay, now let's move on to the most crucial aspect, of course, the scent. The collection offers three distinct fragrances, honor, courage, and commitment. Each fragrance is inspired by different values. So the goal here should be to kind of encapsulate each of those values. Starting with honor, I would expect something maybe a little light. I'm ex actually expecting them to build up in complexity as we move on. Uh, so let's, let's see if I'm right. Uh, this should exude a sense of, I don't know, dignity and respect, right? Let's try it. Okay. A little citrusy right off the top. I expected that. It has a, has a really powerful opening with some top notes of, um, might be bergamot, maybe a little spice to it. Hits you in the back of your throat. It gives it a nice sharp feel. There's some lavender there. I like that. Okay. A little leathery too. That's good. That's very masculine. At the end, I'm getting some wood. Is that, is that ambergris perhaps? This is pretty well-rounded. It's actually better, quite honestly, than I expected right out of the gate. Okay, so off camera, I just looked on the website and I found that Honor's top notes include bergamot, a very citrusy, lemon, citrus again, uh, I didn't catch that, and black pepper. That's that spice I, I picked up on. Mid notes of not lavender, like I thought, but a combo of nutmeg and jasmine. That's interesting. And then base notes of patchouli and sandalwood. That's that wood. Uh, not ambergris, but amber uh, and leather, which really anchors the more citrusy scent and gives it a nice masculine tone. Okay, moving on to courage. This should uh, bring to mind like feelings of like bravery and resilience, right? I haven't smelled these yet. Can you tell? Okay. Okay, citrus again. It's, uh, it's a very energetic opening. I'm getting lavender again, uh, but I was wrong last time. Yeah, there's a really floral, strong wood notes at the end. Oh, that's nice. Sandalwood again? No, it's different. Bold ending. I like this. I like this a lot. Again, off camera, I looked it up on the website. The top notes include uh, grapefruit, lemon, and mandarin orange. It's interesting. Uh, mid notes are, they include some lavender, some lemongrass in there, plum, which I didn't pick up on, and pineapple. I don't think I've run across that combo anywhere else. It's, it's very unique. Got a lot going on here. Uh, and then some base notes of sandalwood and musk. That's, that's the boldness that I was getting, that musk. I like this a lot. Lastly, we have commitment. As the name suggests, this fragrance should symbolize like dedication and loyalty, that kind of feel. I'm expecting this to kick it up a notch and really lean into the warmer tones. 
maybe heavy on the musk and leather. I want a real man's fragrance here, okay? I want, I want this to be so powerful it makes my girlfriend pregnant just walking into the room, all right? I want something that, that will immediately slap every other man in the room right across the face and lets them know that they're inferior. Okay, let's try this out. Is that citrus again? It opens with grapefruit again and uh, maybe mint. Okay, it's uh, a bit more refreshing than I expected. I wanted it to be darker. Okay, now I'm, now I think I'm smelling some rosemary. A little spice ginger. That's a twist. Okay, intriguing. That, I like how the way this is aging. Intriguing. All right, there's the musk. Oh, that's a good strong musk scent that should last. Okay, that's settling nicely. Yeah, I was a little worried at first. The ending though is really nice. And that's the scent that's going to stay with you. All right, checking the website again, I found not really citrus at all, but vanilla and vetiver in the top notes. That's interesting. The mid notes uh, include uh, cedarwood, which I picked up. And I thought we had the base notes already, but it also has some pepper again, which it paired nicely with the cedar. Then the base notes smack you. And they're patchouli, musk, amber wood, and oud. Uh, oud is, is a great strong scent that you find uh, very popular in the Middle East right now. Despite that great ending, I was expecting a little more, maybe I talked it up too much in my head. Still a really nice fragrance. Uh, I'll definitely be wearing this this weekend. And now obviously I won't be able to talk to the longevity and the projection of these since it is an unboxing and a blind review. But that also is something that is important to consider when you're looking for a new scent. But I think you got a pretty good idea of what each fragrance's scent profile is like and can then use that to determine whether it's suitable for either formal or casual occasions. And so in conclusion, Antonio, you should be proud, brother. This is a remarkable collection that does a good job of embodying the values that each represent. Each scent has its distinct personality, yet they all do share a common thread of, I would say elegance, sophistication, and, and definitely masculinity. And, and thank you so much for sharing them with me. Uh, for all of you guys out there, I do recommend them. When you try these, you're going to get some interesting profiles that you just don't find anywhere else. These are not clones. They are not. They're not clones. They are their own entities, and clearly a great deal of time and effort were put into their formulation. Good job. So right now, we're going to see what AI thinks of the differences between Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette, because it's time for ChatGPT. Haiku Harmony. You probably already know this, but this is where we take the subject matter of the video. We forcefully use a feeding tube down the virtual nostril of the AI chatbot, ChatGPT, and we make it regurgitate a beautiful haiku poem. Music, please. Thank you. Fragrance lingers strong. Eau de Parfums, lasting dance. Eau de Toilettes. Brief. That wraps up our review of Antonio Centeno's honor, courage, and commitment fragrance line. If you are interested in exploring these scents further, I highly recommend that you give them a try. You can find them on the website missionfragrances.com. That's missionfragrances.com. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the like button on your way out the door. I so appreciate it. Take care. Peace.